I'm Brian Dickinson, and I want to show you a simple way of controlling UVM configuration by the command line. So there's a couple of options of doing UVM configuration control by the command line, plus UVM set config int, and plus UVM set config string. And both of these options allow you to construct a hierarchical path name down to a given component, to specify a field or property name inside of that component, and then set the value of the property under that component path name. Now in UVM 1.2 only, you're also allowed to set the default sequence of a sequencer. You construct a path name down to a sequencer. You specify the phase in which you want the sequence to be executed. This includes the runtime subphases, such as reset and main phase. And finally, you specify the type of a sequence, which is compatible with the sequencer of the given path name. Now, these three configuration settings, they're very similar to normal configuration sets, except they're only available for integral and string types in UVM 1.1 and uh, default sequence fields in UVM 1.2. Now all three configuration sets are processed in the UVM root build phase. This is the highest level of your UVM test bench, higher even than your test classes. So by the normal rules of UVM configuration, because they're in a higher scope, they have a higher precedence, therefore they can be used to overwrite any configuration settings in any of your test classes. Let's have a look at a couple of quick examples. In the first one here, I'm using a UVM set config int to pick up any path name that contains hbus. I'm using wildcards here in the component path name, the stars. Because I do that, I must include the entire argument to the set config int in double quotes. And I'm specifying that the is active field inside of a path name that contains hbus is set to UVM passive, so I expect any UVC with hbus in the path name to become passive with this configuration setting. In the second example, I'm going to use a UVM 1.2 set default sequence. I will construct a full path name down to the sequencer on which I want to run the sequence. Uh, no wildcards, therefore no need to enclose the argument list in quotes. I will specify the phase in which I want the sequence to run. So here, run underscore phase. When you specify the phase, you must include the underscore phase as part of the name. Uh, this includes the runtime subphases like reset underscore phase and main underscore phase. And finally, I'm specifying the sequence UVC SEQ that I want to run on that sequencer. Now, if UVC SEQ is not an actual sequence type, you'll get an error at elaboration. And if it's the wrong type for the sequencer, you'll get a runtime error. Let's have a look at a couple of examples on the simulator. So, if I run my quick simulation here, I'm running a best base test here. Uh, doesn't create any uh, stimulus, and you can see that the is active property of the TX agent under the YAP hierarchy is set to passive. Now, if I put an inline option here, set config int. I construct a path name down to the TX agent and I set the is active property to be passive. I will now make that UVC passive. And if you run the simulation, you can see straight away the is active property is set to passive. The uh, driver and the sequencer no longer are created because we have a passive UVC and the configuration setting has worked. If I just go back to my normal simulation run here. You can see this is a base test. Again, no stimulus being created. What I can do, because I'm using UVM 1.2, I can set a default sequence setting, construct a path name down to the sequencer of the TX agent, and say that I want to run a sequence YAP012SEQ in the run phase. And now when I run this, hey, you can see I'm, I'm getting stimulus out. And if we look up here, we should see a message say that I'm executing the YAP012 SEQ, even though I'm still running the base test that doesn't create any stimulus. So these are nice, simple ways to do interactive debug to change the configuration settings and the default sequences of your UVCs on the fly. I hope you find them useful.